this video, I'm stealing mob body parts in order to upgrade myself and gain their abilities. Oh, Bessie, are we sure about this today, guys? Uh, I don't know if you know from the title and the intro of today's episode, but we are going to be basically opening mobs and stealing their body parts. For example, I can go ahead and steal all of Bessie's muscles. Hey, Bessie, you're looking kind of small now, boy. Blah, 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 blah. I also can go right ahead and steal Bessie's spine. Now I'm pretty sure she can't move. Blah, 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 blah. In this chest, we have almost every single Minecraft mob, and today I'm going to be using Bessie's chest opener in order to steal their body parts. Now, supposedly I can put these body parts inside of my body. I'm not entirely sure why I would want to do this, but let's just say I wanted to steal some of Bessie's muscles. Now I have organ rejection. That doesn't sound too good. But I'm not sure if you guys can tell, I am slightly faster and also about 10% stronger because of Apparently cows are faster and stronger than human beings. And, all right, well, that was just a clone of Bessie. I'm super sorry. I think I accidentally operated one too many times. And now I have organ failure. What am I doing? Let's go ahead and operate on a bumblebee. What the heck? Dude, it's attacking me. No, 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 get back here. Okay, I need to steal. Does it even have a spine? Uh, we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna steal every single part from the bee's chest. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. Okay, um, I think, yep. I, I, I'm gonna guess that the bee probably died. I'm not a doctor, but if you take all of the organs and bones from inside of any creature, I'm pretty sure they're not able to survive any longer. Now, here's the cool part, ladies and gentlemen. If I go ahead and just right-click with the chest opener on my body, we can now see all of my different body parts. Let's go ahead and replace all of my muscles with insect muscles. These are supposedly uh, very, very weak, but also extremely fast. As you can see, <laughs> just by running around, I am about double as fast as I normally would be. But since I replaced all of my organs with insect organs, my body is just rejecting everything and slowly dying. Uh, wait a second, can I, uh, can I fix this? I'm gonna probably, yep, I'm dead. Now we do have a venom gland, so now I gain the bee's venomous attacks. Let's go test it on this llama. Look at that, the llama is now poisoned. It's just spit on me though. Not cool, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal your spit gland. Target is too healthy. I really, I gotta, I gotta punch him? I really gotta punch him in order to make him less healthy. I have to make this, this llama a sick llama before I can operate. Okay, good, he is now, uh, I'm gonna steal his spine so he can't run away. I'm going to also steal, uh, uh, what else? Wait, where, 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 where are these uh, spit glands? I'm gonna steal his spleen. Take that, llama. Ooh, llama lungs. Forceful spit attack. Nice. I'm gonna take your heart just because you get you spit on me so many times. We're operating, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we have the uh, the lungs of the llama. We're gonna replace my lungs with those of the llama. And now, as you can see, I can spit like a llama. This is insane. <laughs> What's up, horse? I'm gonna spit on you. This is fantastic. Look at it. I obviously don't look like a llama, but I have the attacks and the abilities of a llama. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> yeah, that's right, nerd. What you looking at, chicken? I'm gonna spit on you. The chicken's probably extremely confused how I'm able to spit so forcefully. Next up, we're gonna operate on a rabbit. Stop running. Stop running. Stop. Stop it. Stop. I just, I, I want to operate here. I'll, I'll give you my, my, uh, I'll give you my kidney. We'll trade kidneys. I killed it by hexing him. I'm so, such a bad person. Oh no. Oh no. My lung fell out of my body. Oh, this is bad. Now, I forgot to mention too, another way to get the mob organs and also body parts is just to keep opening their chest with the chest opener. Rabbits don't seem to have the durability in order to uh, survive an operation like this, so I'm not really able to open their chest. I'm able to basically just operate and then collect their body parts afterwards. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay, so I picked up a rabbit heart. We're just gonna... Wait a sec. Can I have multiple hearts? I want to put my heart in there and the rabbit's heart. Look at that. I actually got an extra heart, and it makes me faster too. This is so cool. Wait a second. Let's take out my appendix, right? And then we'll just put in a, a, a llama heart. Now I have three extra hearts. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe subscribe button. My goal is to try to hit 5 million subscribers before the end of 2021. Also, if you guys do want to see a part two where I try to open up different bosses and modded mobs, please go ahead and smash like. Okay, we got it. We got a creeper. We got to be careful here. Oh, uh, don't explode yourself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to steal his explosion mechanism. He exploded anyway. That's fine. We're going to grab his gunpowder and supposedly the inside of a creeper is just filled with sticks, leaves, gunpowder, and an oak log. It did have, what is this? A creeper appendix. What happens if I, oh, nope, nope. Never mind. Oh, I took out his creeper appendix. Wait, can he explode? <laughs> <laughs> he can't explode. He just gets fat. <laughs> what you looking at, buddy? What you looking at? Something wrong? Something got your tongue? Something has his appendix, ladies and gentlemen, and his name is me. Let's go ahead, and we're just gonna go ahead, and we're gonna steal that. We're gonna, I guess, take out my, 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 uh, my ribs. Bye-bye, ribs. And hello, creeper appendix. Let's test it out in three, two, one. <laughs> That's fantastic. What are you trying to do there, buddy? You trying to do this? Uh, uh. 
Okay, expo, expo, uh, oh, okay, something's not working here. Can I only use that once? Oh my gosh, wait a second. So you can only use the creeper appendix one time to explode. Three, two, one, explode. How is he still alive? I'm already 50% zombie, so I'm guessing that most of the body parts will be the exact same as myself. Zombies are honestly probably one of the unhealthiest creatures on the entire planet. Like half of their body is just rotten flesh. There is nothing that I want from the zombie. I'm just, I'm gonna do him a favor. I'm gonna take away his rotten heart. Next up, we have a slime. No, okay, never mind. Okay, can I kind of maybe steal some, some, uh, some, some things from the tiny slimes? No, I can't. Not. Slimes have no body parts. I completely forgot. They're just made of slime. Let's go ahead and do another undead creature, the skeleton. What's up, Mr. Skeleton? You barely have anything. You literally just bones. Would you stop shooting me? I'm taking away. I'm taking away every single body part. Can you survive? Okay, you don't even have a heart. I forgot. You're literally an undead creature. Zombies at least still have hearts. The skeletons, they they have nothing. It's just bones. That dude just 360 my face. I'm honestly really curious what happens if I replace my spine with that of a decayed spine. I am so slow. This is what happens when you don't take care of your spine, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to operate. We're gonna put my spine back in my body. I am operating on an enderman. Target is too healthy. Okay, so uh, if, if it's too healthy, like what am I supposed to do? Fight it? Sorry, buddy. I gotta operate. You stay right there, buddy. I stole his spine, but he still killed me? Oh my gosh, he could still teleport without his spine. I don't know where he went. He just disappeared. I finally managed to steal some body parts from the enderman, and it looks like it's way stronger than I could ever be. Let's replace the enderman spine. We also need his muscles, too, because he's way stronger than I am. Let's shove in an ender heart somewhere. <laughs> An ender spleen, ender stomach too, why not? And an ender lung. Now, supposedly, if an, anything tries to attack me, I will just automatically dodge it, or at least I thought I would. There's a slight cooldown, but that's okay. Go ahead, shoot me, do it. Look at that, I, okay, I got hit there, but I still automatically teleport. Okay, okay, you, you, you can chill now. Back to the operating table, we are operating on the, on the gas. Okay, magma blocks, I probably should assume that. Blaze shells. What about functioning blaze rods? That is going to allow me to actually spit fire like a blaze. It has no heart. It literally, it literally d does not feel any sort of compassion whatsoever. It looks like it is slowly dying because I did steal everything inside of its body. Let's go ahead and replace my liver with blaze shells. That's probably not healthy. And let's go ahead and replace, okay, all right. We're gonna go ahead and replace some of my muscles with functioning blaze rods, which will allow me to spit fire. Oh my gosh, there we go, he died. Wonder if I could shoot fireballs. I did, I can shoot fireballs and I can spit with force. Next up, I will be stealing all of the body parts from an iron golem, which will make me practically indestructible. Don't worry, iron golem, Beck broke down is going to make you feel super bad. Probably. I'm the worst doctor in the entire world. I just steal body parts. I'm actually going to fill him up with a couple other body parts. Never mind. He's dead. Let's go ahead and replace my muscles with iron golem piston muscles. We can also replace a set of my ribs with the golem plating, which is arguably way stronger. And then I guess we could just take out my kidney and replace it with a golem cable. I don't know if that is a one-to-one -one comparison, but we're just going to do it. My body is really starting to hate itself, but I need to see just how strong I am. Whoa, whoa, look at my muscles, man. I'm throwing this witch around like she weighs nothing. Okay, are you ready to operate? No, how are you still, st how are you healthy? I'm hitting you with the power of my iron golem muscles. That's right, eat fireballs and spit. Did it work? Yes, it did. Okay, what the heck? You have a, oh no, that's my chest cavity. I was gonna say, you have some weird things inside of your body. We're gonna move along to a zombified piglin. I'm not sure why I would wanna steal any body parts from this undead creature, but we're gonna try. Let's go ahead, poor health, poor health, poor health. All right, we're gonna do you a favor. We're gonna take out your spine and also destroy your rotten heart. It might not seem like it now, but that was probably the best outcome. Let's try a spider. Yo, can I turn into Spider-Man? Okay, hold up. Uh, poor nutrition, poor nerves. Is there anything that makes me spidery? Produces silk. We're gonna steal the silk glands. Would you stop attacking me, please? All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we dealt with that, we should be able to make silk out of our butts. I think that's what happens. We're gonna have to just keep taking out our ribs. I don't think you need ribs. So we're gonna just uh, have one silk gland in there, and then now what happens if I try to get a little silky? Oh, I can also eat the body parts. All right, well, that's kind of weird. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I could just basically produce string out of my butt. So, there's that. Next up, an evoker. Okay, all right, I forgot he spawns in minions. Hey, buddy. All right, buddy. Luckily, I still have a lot of different abilities from a lot of different creatures. And we're gonna operate. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out the spine. We're gonna take out the heart. Can I gain his magical abilities? I don't think I can. Nope, he just has good speed, good strength. There. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna steal your muscles because I think your muscles might be a little bit stronger than I am, even though you look like a homeless old man. What about the vexes? Can I steal the vexes things? Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I actually can. Um, these don't really seem super powerful either. We also have a hoglin. 
Yes, no, I wanna stop being so healthy. I will, okay, all right, chill. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna spit silk out of my butt at your face. The only thing I don't like about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that every single time I die, all of the foreign body, body uh, the body parts, they fall out. Uh, I think my brain fell out too. All right, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna just keep dying. I don't think I actually have a lung right now, so we're gonna have to operate really, nope, we're not. We're not gonna have to operate on anything. I think I've collected most of my body parts back. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. We're just gonna have to spit on him using my llama lungs. Llama lung, llama lung. Please stay away from me, you crazy person! I don't even want to operate on this thing. I might have to, though, ladies and gentlemen. I am I'm running out of body parts. We're gonna. Uh, this is all rotten stuff. I completely forgot. It's an undead creature. Why do I even? Why am I operating? Ladies and gentlemen, the last thing I want to operate on today is an elder guardian because it is probably the most amazing thing in the entire universe to have the organs of a fish. I will be able to breathe infinitely underwater, and I will be the new Aquaman. Stop! 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 Stop going out of water. You're gonna die. Actually, this is perfect. Don't worry, buddy. I will operate on you. Let me give you the. Uh, the heart of a blaze and then you'll no longer burn. I'll trade all my organs for all of your organs. It worked, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Yes, we can get gills. We can also get fishy muscles so we can swim faster underwater. Go ahead. We're just gonna take everything out of my body that I don't really know what it does and we're gonna re replace it with the uh, fishy muscles and also a couple pair of gills. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing. I am now back bro fish and my organs are slowly going to reject themselves probably because I filled up my entire inventory with fish muscles and gills. Back bro Jack died of medical complications. That is right. Today we have a ton of different Minecraft mobs and also bosses that we're going to be uh, basically operating on and stealing their body parts to upgrade myself. Hey Bessie, you want me to operate on you? All right, fine, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we're gonna have to operate on a bat. Yeah, it's my body. Come here, little batty. I want to turn to Batman. I really want to turn to Batman. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, uh, so every single mob has different body parts, obviously, that I can steal. Some of them are good. Some of them are really bad. So obviously this has uh, poor speed, poor strength. Uh, I don't even think I can steal its wings. I was hoping that I would maybe be able to fly. So yeah, there's really no point in stealing any of the bat's body parts. Next up, let's go ahead and try a horse. I've always wanted to be known as Beckbro Horse. So sometimes the target is a little bit too healthy for whatever reason yet You got to kind of like beat it down so then you can operate on it and boom We now can steal every body part from the horse. It's honestly not even worth it ladies and gentlemen I thought that the horse's muscles would be extremely fast compared to mine because it's a horse But supposedly they're not we're gonna go ahead We're gonna steal the spine and also it's heart The cool thing is I can actually just steal hearts and then if I place it inside of my body as you can see I have the horse hearts and yeah, the, the horse can't really survive without his heart. I'm so sorry, horsey. Next up, let's go ahead and try a strider. Dude, wait a second. Okay, so these have fireproof muscles. Definitely gonna take some of those. Do not mind if I do. They have fireproof ribs. I actually think the entire strider's body is fireproof. Look, fireproof heart, fireproof lungs. We're gonna take the heart. We need, we need the heart. We're gonna take the intestines. We're actually just gonna take everything from the strider. And yeah, that's normally what ends up happening when you steal things, <laughs> especially vital organs from mobs. Let's go ahead and open my chest and let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna place uh, I guess an extra heart. We're gonna I guess we're gonna take out some of my ribs because I don't need all my ribs I think. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to replace my some of my muscles anyway with fireproof muscles. Actually let's do my other muscles too because they're the same amount of strength and resistance. And it finally happened ladies and gentlemen. So when you start putting organs in your body that aren't necessarily meant for a human you start to get organ rejection. That's okay though because now I am a fireproof zombie man. It actually works Look at this. Look at, okay, I'm obviously, I'm taking a little bit of damage, but not as much damage as I would be if I didn't have the fireproof heart and fireproof muscles. And if I replace my entire body with, with just the, the, the body parts of a strider, I don't think I would burn at all. And I would basically just be a strider. Let's go try out the wither skeleton. This one, I, I don't know if I tried out in the last episode. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna operate. It doesn't have any body parts. I should have expected this. Later on in the video, we are going to be testing it out on the Wither Boss, so I'm really hoping that I can gain all of the Wither Boss's powers and just shoot Wither Skulls everywhere. Next up on the list, a lot of you guys were commenting in the last episode that you wanted me to open a Mushroom. I don't know exactly why. I think it actually has all the same organs as a normal cow, except the outside of the Mushroom is mushrooms, but the inside is literally the same. It has the same anatomy as a cow. I don't know exactly why you 
you can milk it for soup. I don't think, yeah, there, n none of these organs say udders, so I really can't steal that. And then I, I really, yeah, I was hoping that maybe I could do that and then I could just like poop out infinite soup. But unfortunately, I can't do that weird thing today. Maybe tomorrow. This next one is going to be a little bit difficult, so I think I should probably spawn it inside of my house. This is a phantom. And can I operate? Can I? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm going to have to just, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to just uh, do a little bit of that. Can I operate? Operate. Yes. Okay, the phantom's cavity. It has poor health, poor breath recovery, poor endurance. This thing is not healthy whatsoever. He's got to start eating some eggs, maybe a little bit of milk, and lots and lots of apples to keep the doctor away. Uh, all right, well, it, it's currently killing me, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out its spine, which makes it so it cannot move, and the heart, which, yeah, that is the life force of every animal and creature today. So if I remove the heart and the spine, I can basically kill anything. I'm super excited for this next one. So you guys were commenting as well that I missed out on the shulker in the last episode. So, okay, can I operate? Nope, 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 nope. I cannot operate, and I'm slowly floating away. This is bad, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna come over here. I have extra hearts as well in my body. Okay, we're gonna need to move quick. Wow, dude. Okay, I really hope that I can gain the ability to shoot out those shulker things. Stop, stop, stop. Can I operate? Can I, can I, can I operate? I can, nope. That was my chest. That's my chest. Shulker's chest cavity. It opened for like two seconds. All right, dude. You, 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 would you stop eating me, please? Can you just chill for like two seconds, maybe? We gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we're gonna operate. Three, two, one. Operate. Um, yes. The shulker's spleen. That is how they're able to shoot bullets. Everything else, I really don't need. I'm gonna steal its heart so it dies. As bad as that sounds, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta do it. This thing, it, it, it started it. Literally started shooting me for no good reason. That is why I, as Beck Road Doctor, decided to open up its chest and I stole its spleen and its heart. I'm not a very good person, but I am an extremely good doctor. I have my PhD in cookie eating, but not, not actually like doctor things. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a PhD in baking and making cookies. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up Beck Bro Jack's chest cavity. So I'm sort of running out of space here. Uh, what, what really, what don't I need? I guess we could take out another four ribs. We can always place them back later. So we're gonna add in the shulker spleen. Now if I, oh wait, wait, oh, it worked. It actually worked, no way. Dude, where is it going? Can I shoot myself with it? What happens if I run into it myself? Does it work? Am I controlling it somehow? How, d d well, okay, so, if, oh, well, there you go. What's up, donkey? This is the back row swap. Now I'm a flying talking donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's actually crazy. So I can, I can just shoot it. Wait, okay. So it looks like wherever I look, that's where the shulker pellet goes. What you looking at, Mushroom? It looked at me funny, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna, we're gonna poop shulker bullets at it. <laughs> it, just, it just died. It just died. Next up, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to do it, but I need to do it for science. We have a wolf right here. Can I operate? Okay, I can operate. Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave most of its body parts. I'm just curious to see if there's anything in here that I can maybe use. Um, it looks like everything. Ooh, it has carnivore intestines. So it looks like if I were to eat meat with the carnivore intestines, I would actually get extra saturation. Are you attacking me? Oh, well. Get shulker, boy! Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Next up, we're going to operate on an undead drowned creature. This thing is so unhealthy, but... Can it breathe underwater? It has lungs, right? Oh, no, no, no. It does. It, we're looking for gills. I'm pretty sure every single underwater creature has gills. I think because it's undead, it actually doesn't even need to breathe. What we can do, though, is try to operate on a puffer fish. I want to be Beckbro Puffer. Oh, no. No, wait. Can I not operate on them? Are they, I think they might be too tiny and fragile. Oh, I'm not a fish doctor. I'm just like a doctor for everybody else. Well, this is a shame, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's okay. Next up, we can try an evoker, which oh, I, I remember I did this last time and it is not fun. I'm pretty sure the evoker by its skincare routine, you can probably tell it is the most unhealthy thing other than a skeleton and a zombie. Look at it, dude. All right, it's just disgusting. We're gonna we're gonna have to take it out before it starts summoning in more things and it's probably gonna try to kill me even though I have like 18 hearts. It's the same story with the Vexes, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are wondering, there is no point in stealing a Vex's body parts. Next up, we're gonna try our luck with a cave spider. I can, oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's, that's my body. I wanna open up the cave spider. Ew, dude. Okay, so it's, oh, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. Me, it's gonna kill me. Okay, I need to go ahead and operate. No, that's my body. Why do I keep doing it on my body? Okay, we're gonna operate. No, that's literally my body again. We're gonna take out. Okay, does it? it, it can it still move? I think I took out one of its uh, one of its vertebrae. You see, spiders, unlike every single other creature, they do not have spines. So unfortunately, I took out the. Oh, I took out its intestines, so it can no longer digest any of the food that it's biting off my body. Oh, we got a bunny, dude! In the last episode, this thing made me so fast. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's really difficult to track down. Come here, bugs, bunny. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Come on, come on, dude. They, they, they run away every single time. They're so hard to get. I just want to operate on you. I am, I'm, I'm a certified cookie doctor that has nothing to do with actually operating, but I'm 
gonna do it anyway. Boom. Got. Oh, okay. I forgot. You really can't operate on them because my chest openers, they, they don't really make a small size. That's why small creatures just kind of combust whenever I right click on them with the chest opener. But we are, however, able to collect all of the body parts. So we can go ahead and open up my, my chest again. And I guess we need to figure out what else we can remove. I don't think I need all of my intestines, just maybe three of them. So we're gonna replace an intestine with a rabbit heart, which will make me just a tad bit faster and also give me some extra health. What about a chicken? I don't know if I've operated on a chicken quite yet. I wanna see exactly how you make your eggs, Mr. Chicken. Well, all right, we're gonna act like that didn't happen. The next one, ladies and gentlemen, I am oh, I didn't do that. Chest opener, chest opener. Did I get it? Oh. Did I, can I put the gas tier in my body? We're gonna try this one more time in three, two, one. All right, we're gonna operate. Ew, dude, okay, so it has a gas bladder. I'm taking that, I'm taking that. Uh, let's take out the fireproof heart. We'll take out the spine so it can no longer move. This thing is just shooting me to death, but that's okay. Luckily, I still have the fireproof uh, muscles. What is this, a volatile stomach? Ghastly, I need to try that. Maybe that's how it's shooting out all these fireballs that are slowly and steadily burning down my house. I'm pretty sure cows have six different stomachs, so I guess Beck Bro Jack is now going to have two. We'll have my normal humanly stomach, and we will have a volatile stomach. Um, in, uh, what do I, I don't know. We're gonna take out another intestine, and we're gonna add another stomach, the volatile stomach. Does it work? Oh my gosh, it does! So I can spit out the, the, oh no, it almost attacked Bessie. I could spit out the shulker pellet of levitation and also a ghastly fireball. That is going to be super useful later on, ladies and gentlemen, especially against the next boss, the Ravager. Okay, we're just gonna shoot it directly. We're gonna shoot it directly. I don't know exactly how much health these have. I haven't fought too many in my life, but we're definitely gonna operate because I want whatever it has inside of its body. Stop it, stop it, stay back, stay back, levitate. Levitate, why did it just, it just it goes right through it? That's not cool, not cool, not cool. Please stay away. Please, 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 please stop following me, just stop following me for like two seconds, man. Why does it keep following me? It just keeps following me. It, it, uh, it, um, luckily, I have the rabbit heart, so I'm like slightly faster than it. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to levitate again. Levitate, levitate, levitate. It can't be levitated, cannot be levitated. The shulker pellet is inbound, but this thing is way faster. No, not today. Hello. Is he still? Oh, he's still coming for me, isn't he? There's no way he sees me. He sees me. He sees me. He sees me. Inside my house I go. Oh, thank you for coming. I am going to operate on you. Dr. Cookie is here and he is going to make you feel better. Okay, how'd you, how'd you hit? He literally hit me through a wall. I have opened the Ravager's chest. Okay, so it has brutish muscles, average speed, exceptional strength. Definitely taking all those. I'm also going to take out spine so it stops moving. Let's see if this is gonna work. So I'm just gonna replace, I guess, some of my normal muscles with brutish muscles. I guess I don't really need too many fireproof muscles, so we'll take out some of those and I guess add in even more brutish muscles. Now, in theory, I should do a lot more damage. Let's test it out. Hello, sir. I have your muscles and I also have your spine. I would have taken your tongue too, but that wasn't an option. I'm also starting to realize why you need your intestines. Every single time I eat, I literally start losing uh, with the, the, the food bars like immediately. Okay, well, I'm way stronger than I ever was before. That's going to be super useful, especially because now we are going to try to play doctor <laughs> with a wither. This is probably one of my like top three worst ideas. Well, hopefully this works. We're gonna place that there. We're just gonna place a little bit of protection there. We're gonna go one, two, three. Okie dokie. Let's see if those Ravager muscles actually work. We're gonna put them to the test. Oh, he's breaking towards me. He's breaking right towards me. He's busted out, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't good. I think in order to operate, you need to get it down to at least half hearts. I guess we can try to operate right now. Hello, sir. You want to operate? I will operate. No, that's my chest. That's my chest. Okie dokie, we're not gonna operate. Don't worry, have yourself a fantastical day. I just killed a silverfish and it, j it just exploded in like a million different body parts. The wither boss is down to half health. Oh my gosh, okay, so we have a nether star that I'm stealing, a uh, spine that I'm stealing. It's just made out of soul sand. I should have known. It literally has nothing good other than the, ne the, the, the nether star. So like, I guess you could just steal the nether star, but what happens now if I kill it? Oh, wait a second, ladies and gentlemen. Now that I stole the nether star, I think it's just going to die because that's technically its heart. Wait, I wonder, does it drop another one? Let's see. Nope, it does not. So I guess you can like kind of steal the nether star without actually having to kill the wither boss. The more you know, right? But wait a second, what happens if I put the nether star as my heart? Did it work? Did it? No, I don't, 
I don't think it works. I don't really feel any different. I actually think I might die. Right now, I'm working with a rabbit heart and like a llama heart. So we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna place that back. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna see exactly what's inside of the Ender Dragon and if I can steal some of its abilities because I just, I either wanna sell them. Probably that's not a good idea. I think that's might be illegal. The FBI is watching this. I didn't mean that. That was just a joke. But I would really like to gain some of the powers of the Ender Dragon by putting its body parts in my body. I'm not even sure if they're gonna be able to fit, ladies and gentlemen, but we're gonna find out. The Ender Dragon is almost down to half health, ladies and gentlemen, so we can all Almost operate. Why can't I hit you? What uh, what what hacks are you using right here? It's about to be operation soon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, wait, can I can I just do it now? Uh target is too healthy. No, nope. okay, so it has to be at least half health. Would you chill for two seconds? I think we did it, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's still too healthy. Okay, what about this? Too healthy? What about now? I'm oh my gosh, why are you doing this? Just let me operate and steal all your organs. It's not that bad, I swear. I did it to like 18 rabbits. That's right, come on down to Beckbro Operation. I'm a certified cookie doctor with a PhD in cookie law. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, we did it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take its spine so it can no longer move. We're gonna, wait, what are these mana reactors? Crystal synthesis? I want it. I don't even know what that is. I'm, I'm gonna have to just start putting gas bladders inside of the ender dragon. There's no way that can be healthy. What else do we have? Supernatural speed. That sounds amazing. I would love supernatural speed. Thank you, don't mind if I do. Do not mind if I even do. We're gonna take all of those. Dragon ribs are slightly reduced endurance. I don't know if that's the best thing. Supernatural detoxification. Supernatural filtration. I honestly think I'm gonna to replace every single one of my body parts with that of a dragon. And the dragon heart gives supernatural health, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to do it, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. I'll replace it with insect muscle, so maybe it'll live. I'm not entirely sure where the ender dragon even went, because I stole pretty much all of its body parts. Well, I guess while we're waiting to see what happened to the ender dragon, I'm gonna replace all of my body parts with the ender dragons. So I really hope I did this right, ladies and gentlemen. I am now extremely fast, and I think if I hit this, yep, I shoot out dragon balls and also dragon breath. The ender dragon is just completely gone. I think after I stole all of its body parts, it decided to retreat and probably just jumped into the void. Unfortunately, I'm not able to fly and I also use so much of my saturation just by walking and moving around. I guess because I have all the body parts of an ender dragon, um, that makes a little bit of sense, I guess? But we could still do this, which is amazing. And I'm also extremely powerful. So if I were to go ahead and uh, let's just say, uh, summon an iron golem, if I punch it, I honestly don't know. Okay, never mind. This thing might be actually more powerful than I am. What happens if I just punch a sheep? Oh, okay. So, yep, that makes a lot more sense now. I can be a sheep eater. Yo, that is amazing. Three, two, I eat. <laughs> okay, it was worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, in this chest, I had Bessie put together some custom modded Minecraft mobs that we can actually use our chest opener on in order to steal their mob parts. The first one is called a Blight Bat. What is this, dude? It's so tiny and purple. Come here, little Blight Bat. I need to see what's inside of your chest. Hey. Oh, no, okay. So I, I don't know if you guys noticed, by the way, I did replace all of my cookies with actually good body parts. Some of them are normal body parts, but some of them are from previous episodes. As you guys can see, I have Ender Muscles, which give exceptional speed hydroallergenic and exceptional strength. We also have a dragon heart, which makes me extremely healthy, and iron golem plating, which will make me extremely defensive. But today I plan to upgrade even more with these custom modded parts. Okay, so this is the Blight Bat's chest cavity. It has small animal muscles, poor speed, poor strength, and it's only compatible with the Blight Bats. Is there anything in here that I could actually use? Everything is just poor. It is so tiny and it is so fragile and it is so frail. What about a mushroom trader? <laughs> Why does this dude have mushrooms on his head? Does he actually trade mushrooms? He does. Look at this. He's a mushroom dealer. He sells a music disc called M Button Mushrooms. Excuse me, sir. I need to see what's inside of your chest. So he has a normal good heart. He has a spine. He has a stomach. But let's just go ahead and take his spine because I'm going to go ahead and grab some emeralds so that I can get the, the, the music disc of Button Mushrooms. Okay, good. Because I took his spine, he can no longer move. Now, if I place these in here, we can get the music disc. And because I don't need him anymore, 
anymore. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Whoa! Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to open up his chest, but I am. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I forgot I have dragon strength, so I can send things to the moon. Let's go play button mushrooms. It's so peaceful. <laughs> peaceful. I need to see what's inside a giant slime. Why is it so big? Wait, am I dead? How did I not die? What have I done? I'm invincible. I am so confused by what is going on. Can I still open his chest? Target is too healthy. Attack the target. Come here, slime. Oh, oh, it worked. Hold on. It worked for like half a second. It's working. I was. I must see what's inside of the slime. I, I killed it. Wait, those the mini slimes. Wait, what is going on? I'm so confused. Who is inside of his body? I think I fixed it. Let's try out a snake. Oh, what's up, little slithery snake? Look at him wiggling around. He has no idea that Beck Bro Doctor of Cookies is about to open him up. Okay. What? No. How did this happen? I'm dead again. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I'm just gonna try it on a normal sheep. So I can open the sheep. As you can see, look, I can get the herbivore intestines, which I can then use to eat grass. And now, as you can see, because I have put those things inside of my body, I can actually now eat the grass for food. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would want to do this, but I guess it's a great reusable source of protein. Now let's test it out on one of the custom mobs, the pig lion. Why? Why? It's, it's eating my flesh. No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna open up your chest. Target is too healthy. Attack the target. What does this thing do? What does this thing do? Attack the target. Attack the target. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead. I just got eaten by a pig lion. Oh my gosh, I see it. Okay, so I need to go ahead and I need to bring down a tail. And then I'm gonna steal its spine so it can't move. And then I can do my operations. It's too it's still too healthy. How is it so good? This might be a problem. Okay, okay, chill, 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 chill. I just want to open up your chest. Oh, I got inside. Wait, why is he filled up with dirt? Wait, maybe if I remove all the dirt, then he will die. Is that literally everything that's inside of this dude? Oh, look, wait, it's working. It's working. All of the dirt was the organs inside of the pigman's body. The pig Ludden is now so slow, and look, he has poison. Thick bro doctor is operating again. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I think I've operated one too many times. Is this thing invincible? How? How? How you- how? How is he? How? 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 Do you guys see this? Let's try out a rat. Hello, little cute rat. Hey, 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 get back here, get back here. I gotta do my operations. Oh, it actually worked on the rat. Wait, is he killing me? Are you really fighting back? That is not a good mm -hmm. idea. We have something called a tiny ender. <laughs> it is so cute. <laughs> Look at him, he's all angry. <laughs> look at him, look at his short little legs. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. Oh, oh, look at him, he's so cute. Wait, he's too healthy. Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna have to fight the little baby Enderman. <laughs> is it working? Okay, is that enough? No, it's not. <laughs> Come here, little cutie patootie. Wait, he's doing a lot of damage. Hold on. Oh, he's back. Let's operate. No, where did he go? There he is. There he is. There he is. No, that's mine. Yes, I got him. Take out, take out the spine. Your spine is mine, buddy. Wait, he can still teleport. I completely forgot. I need to steal his teleportation abilities. Okay. Oh, where did he go? There he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, okay. So I can't steal his spine. Oh, no. I can only operate one time. No. Now he's just an angry little thing that can just teleport. He can't walk because I stole his spine. Well, if you can somehow get your spine, it's right behind you, little dude. <laughs> Next up, we have a ghost. Can you even operate on a ghost? Do ghosts have organs? Well, we're gonna try it. Come here, buddy. Oh, okay, so that actually kind of makes sense. The uh, ghost chest cavity has nothing inside because it's literally not even real. <laughs> Then somehow it can still hit me. Well, now he's dead. What is a scuttler? What is that? Is this a real life creature? Oh, I need to see what's inside of it. It's probably gonna have like small animal intestines. But Beck Bro Doctor is Beck Bro Scientist today. We gotta figure out what this is. Well, when I tried to open up the scuttler's chest cavity, it completely crashed my game. So I'm no longer gonna mess with the little rat creature that has a rattlesnake tail. We do have an owl though. I've never seen what's inside of an owl. Oh wait, this is cool. Okay, so it looks like it has all small animal things, but it has a small carnivore intestine. Because if you guys did not know, owls are actually carnivores. They go around and they eat things like the scuttler. All right, well, it's a, it is it is really, okay. It, it was trying to bite me with its beak, so I, I had to use my chest opener. Wait, no way. The next one we're checking out is a vampire. Yo, wait, that, that is spooky. 
Why is it looking at me like that? Why is it looking? I'm gonna, I'm gonna open your chest. Wait, I did it. Okay, steal the spine. Yes. Now it's mine. While it's recovering from that, before I operate, let's go ahead and try on a dire bat. That thing is huge. Why is it filled with dirt just like the other dude? Okay, it seems like the weird, custom, unique creatures like the pig lutton and the dire bat, for whatever reason, they have dirt inside of them. Oh no, we have a creeper coming towards me. And wait, more dire bats are spawning. Oh, the vampire spawned in another one. He summoned in minions and he summoned in a baby zombie. Okay, I know exactly what to do. They taught me in doctor school, if things are coming after you, just <laughs> steal their spines. Okay, 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 so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna steal this guy's spine, and then we're gonna, nope, 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 nope. I almost just stole my own spine. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Stop it, stop it. Okay, okay. We got that we got we're gonna steal his spine and then we're gonna just gonna take his heart and we're gonna throw it right in front of his face <laughs> i'm a terrible human being hey 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 back up back up back up back up here you go take all these spines <laughs> Let's go try out the nether dog. What? Okay, okay. Oh, we're gonna open. Oh, chill, 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 dude. This thing is insane. Okay, I need to go ahead and get to water so I don't burn. That is my doctor analysis. Oh, wait, wait. No, it's dying. Wait, this is perfect. Okay, so it, it won't be too healthy very, very soon. There we go. Okay. Whoa. So it has lots of carnivore parts. It also has animal muscles, which are super overpowered. Let's go grab the animal spine so it dies and also... I guess I should steal the rest of the body parts because I'm pretty sure it's dead. And it also dropped demon horns. Let's see if I can go ahead and then I can add that heart to my body. And look at that, I actually have extra hearts. We meet again, little baby Enderman. Let's spawn in his big brother, the small Enderman. Uh, <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. chill, 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 chill. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's coming in. Target is too healthy. Okay, we need to make sure we're hitting this dude. And then now, nope, still too healthy. There he is. There he is. He's stealing my grass blocks. Okay, come on. He's too healthy still. Now, 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 now. No, that's my chest. Okay, steal his uh, spine. Steal his, uh, his heart. His heart's pretty overpowered. Also, all of the ender muscles are so good. They have exceptional speed and strength. So we could use that to place it inside my body because I lost them all. And if we steal their appendix, we'll get arrow dodging abilities. So now if I go into my body, I can replace my muscles with the tiny Enderman's muscles. We could take out my appendix because you really don't need your appendix. And we could place it with the Ender Heart. And then I guess I could take out some of my ribs because I don't think you need all of your ribs. Don't quote me on that because technically I'm only a cookie doctor. I'm not a real life doctor. But now we have arrow dodging abilities and we're faster and stronger. This dude seems really mad that I stole his older brother's body parts. <laughs> He's fuming. Here you go. I'll give you your spine back. What is a rootling? What? <laughs> it's like a little tree. Can I operate? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one actually makes sense because it has dirt. Even though I feel like the dirt should probably be wood. But for whatever reason, in these mobs, if I take out the dirt, they actually start dying. See, look, he has like organ failure now. And he has like this poison ability and eventually he'll start taking damage. I feel really bad for this little dude. <laughs> It's like a weird version of Groot. I think he's broken. I think I maybe broke him by taking out some of his dirt. Let's try a lightning bug. That is okay. I guess it kind of looks like a lightning bug. Can I open it? Hold on. Okay, stay still, stay still. This is gonna require lots of focus and anticipation. Three, two, one. Come on! We're gonna act like that didn't happen, and we are going to move my doctor abilities to a toad. I remember I dissected a frog in science class, so this is no different. I've dissected him. Oh my gosh, okay, so he has tiny animal ribs. He has really small carnivore stomachs that's probably meant for eating other bugs. And he has a really tiny animal heart. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be a nice person and steal his spleen. <laughs> what does your spleen even do? I don't know, but I feel like I want to add it to my body. I'm going to take out my spleen and replace it with a toad spleen. <laughs> That could be good. What is a decayed? What is that? That is ugly. I'm gonna open it up. Ew. Okay, so this is just like a normal zombie. It has rotten flesh and it has rotten intestines, a decayed spine, and it broke my game. No way. I can operate on a werewolf. Oh, it's so big. Okay, still spine. Stay right there. Wait, this thing probably has some really overpowered muscles, so we're gonna snag those. It has a carnivore stomach, which is great for eating meat, which is exactly what I'm doing now. We might as well steal a couple of his intestines so that I can process the meats. And it seems like the rest of his stuff is pretty much the same stuff that I have. <laughs> 
I'll never get over when I steal their spine. They just can't move. <laughs> I'm the worst doctor ever. If the FBI is watching this video, they're gonna arrest me for sure. Okay, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna replace my stomach with a werewolf stomach, and then we're gonna replace two of my intestines with carnivore intestines. Now, whenever I eat meat or raw meat, like this sheep, which I can now kill in one single hit, I will actually probably not get sick. Let's test it out. So we have raw mutton. I don't get sick. Thanks, Mr. Oh, okay, he's still mad. Why would- Oh, what is that? I thought it was gonna be like a normal cowboy human being. Oh, it's too healthy. Wait, oh, I forgot I have arrow dodging from the small Enderman. <laughs> Go ahead, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. <laughs> it's still hitting me, though. It's not even working. That's okay, though. I have the power of... Why? Where did I go? That is okay. I have the power of a werewolf. Ha! Let's punch him a couple times with my extra strength. And now I need to summon... Stop teleporting me. I need to open up his body. Okay, cowboy pillager's chest. Steal the spine. Is there a way for me to steal his arms? I think if I take out all of his ribs, maybe he won't actually be able to use his arms. Or all of his muscles. We're gonna take out all of his muscles. I'm gonna also steal his kidney, too, and sell it. And maybe one of his lungs, too. So then he'll get tired faster. How is he still... What? <laughs> This man doesn't even care that I still have his organs. Let's try spawning in a demon. What? What? How am I supposed to kill this thing? Okay, okay, I don't have to kill it. Remember, I just need to get it down to half health. Even though this thing seems to do a lot more damage than I do, and it does so much fire damage. Okay, luckily I brought it to the water. And it also has, uh, that's apparently like an arrow dodge. And great, the little tiny baby angry dude is trying to take out his anchor issues on me. Die. Die, 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 die. Can I open your body? <gasps> I did it. Take the spine. I'm taking the heart out. It looks like he has pretty normal things other than that. But it looks like it did have something to shoot those fireballs. It had a volatile stomach. It has pretty poor digestion, so I guess I'll keep my normal stomach and I'll be like a cow and have multiple stomachs. So now if I hit this, yes, I can shoot the fireballs that the demon was shooting. What is a Leonar? Oh my goodness, it is a boss. Are you kidding me? Okay, luckily I should be able to shoot fireballs at it and I also have exceptional strength from the Enderman. Let's go see how much damage I can do. Why he broke my game again? Why do they do this? They just, these custom mobs don't want me to operate on them. I'm doing this for science. Does it work in creative mode? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna... Okay, it, he's too healthy. We can fix that. What? What? I just got him down to half health and he went back to full health. Can I open your body? Really? Really? This dude's probably got some really OP stuff and he's not sharing it. All right, what about if I spawn in a Baphomet? It looks like it's older cousin. Bessie decided to turn me into one of her cow scientists. The only way to turn back to normal is by helping her collect the DNA of every single mob in Minecraft. I'll show you guys in just a second what we're going to be doing with the DNA. So in this chest, we have every single Minecraft mob that I'm going to steal their DNA from their toenails. First up, we have a cow. Now, every single DNA that I collect, I'm actually able to use. And eventually, we're going to be able to use all the DNAs in order to go to the end dimension and collect the DNA of the Ender Dragon. First things first, I'm gonna need to scrape your kneecaps. So every single time you right click with this metal scraper, it will collect the DNA of the mob. Come here, fake Bessie. Give me all the DNA. I am literally just scraping cells off of this cow. It does damage too, so I can just scrape it to death. I'm literally the best doctor ever. Beck Pro Doctor is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope no actual doctors are watching today's video. So now that we've scraped off some of the organic matter of the cow, we can go into Bessie's cell science lab. We've been doing a lot of calculations over here as you can see so the first machine we need to put everything in is the cell analyzer this will turn the organic matter that i just got from the kneecaps of the fake bessie into cells so we can take these cells and we can move them over to the dna extractor that will turn the cells into dna helix as you can see it says the gene of a cow but the gene type is currently unknown that's why we gotta go over to our next machine the dna decryptor so this will tell us exactly what the gene type of the dna is so this one's just a basic gene, but what we're looking for is a non-basic gene. 
See, look like this one. This one says gene type eat grass. So every single mob in today's video has a different gene type. This one says milky. That's another super cool ability. And I think that's all the different abilities that we can get from a cow DNA. So now we can move over to the next one, the plasmid infuser. So let's say I wanted to gain the ability to eat grass. Well, I can just plop that DNA helix in there and it will slowly go over to the DNA plasmid. The DNA plasmid needs a certain amount of the different gene types. So I was able to clone this DNA helix of the cow with the eat grass type. And now it's all going to go into this plasmid, which needs 24 out of 24 of the gene types. I love it. I sound super smart like a doctor. And it's complete. Okay, so now we can take this DNA plasmid and we can go ahead and inject it into a syringe. Now, this is where it gets a little bit weird. So I need to hit myself with the syringe in order to collect some blood. This will be the sample. So I place the sample on the right side here. Oh, no, wait. First, I need to go ahead and purify my blood. So now that my blood is pure, I should be able to put it on the right side of the plasmid injector. We'll put the DNA plasmid of eat grass on the left side. And now the syringe is contaminated with the eat grass gene type. We need to purify it one more time. And now all we have to do is shift right click. We go blind because science. And now when I go outside, I should be able to right click and eat grass. <laughs> I am now a cow. This is so overpowered. I never have to eat anything else again, except for cookies. I will most certainly be eating cookies every single day for the rest of my life. Speaking of cookies, we did just get a brand new shipment of Beck Bro Jack cookies available only at beckbrojack.co in the description down below. The best part is that every single mob has a different type of special gene that I can steal and inject into my body for upgrades. Even the ender dragon too. So let's go ahead and we're gonna spawn in a Shep. What's up, Shep? I'm gonna have to scrape those toes of yours. Don't mind me, just gonna scrape Rodney's. Watch out, I'm just trying to scrape the, the, the sheep. I actually, I don't really know how I'm scraping it because technically it has a lot of wool. Like you're supposed to scrape off some sort of skin samples and you really don't need to kill the mob that you're scraping, but I'm the best doctor ever. So I'm just gonna put it out of its misery. <laughs> Why am I a terrible doctor? Plop the organic matter in there. We'll put the sheep cells in here to turn it into DNA. And we just discovered that a sheep has a gene type called woolly. So we've cloned that, and then we should be able to put this into a plasmid. Rodney, what are you doing down there? You got all my plasmids, boy. What else do you have in here? Rodney's just holding cells? He has dragon health crystals? All right, I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna steal the plasmid because I'm actually kind of surprised that you don't have any of my cookies. We have the gene of woolly. Let's stick myself with a needle, purify my blood, inject myself with the DNA of a Shep, purify it again, and stab myself in the thigh with the needle. <laughs> And we now have the woolly ability. The ability to just eat grass and get saturation is so overpowered. I'm just reading now that the woolly ability allows you to get sheared by other players. I am not doing that. Hello, Enderman. I'm just going to scrape just a little tad bit of DNA. Scrape him, scrape him, scrape him, scrape him, scrape him. I'm a doctor, sit still. I'm doing this for your health. It's for your health. Oh, he doesn't believe me. Oh, flip. Well, I collected 31 organic matter, so hopefully that's enough. We just got a more hearts gene type and also a teleport ability from the Enderman. Oh, would you look at that? Beckbro Doctor actually did it right. So it actually shows your abilities too. So the blood is now contaminated. We need to make sure that we purify it one final time. But we have eat grass ability, the woolly ability, teleport, and more hearts. Let's do it in three, two, one. Upgrade! What? Do you guys see my hearts? Wait, that's crazy. And wait, I can actually teleport? Let's steal the DNA of a bat. Oh, oh, why is it on my head? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's literally just on top of my head and I'm collecting all of its DNA. Well, that was a little bit unexpected, but it worked out great. I got 47 organic matter from that bat. Now let's do science. A little bit of science there. Put these science cells in this science uh, machine. Put this cool DNA into this science machine. Basic gene. Mob sight. Basic gene. Night vision. And we also got one that'll allow us to fly. We've done it. So now we have night vision, flight, and mob sight. I am getting stronger. Look at it, look at it. We can see Rodney being all suspicious over there, probably trying to figure out ways to break in and steal all my cookies. But outside, we can see the wolf pack. We can also see my dragons up there. This is kind of weird, though, because it's not lighting up every single mob. It looks like only if they're a certain distance away, it lights up the mob. Actually, that's not even true because these dragons are right next to each other. And I also have night vision 24-7. And I can still eat grass, too. I need more. Ooh, let's try to steal the DNA of a blaze. Maybe then I can shoot fireballs. Blaze, sit still for your doctor's appointment. 
appointment. It is I, Beck Road Doctor. I'm just gonna slice your kneecaps just a little bit. I'm just seeing if they work properly. Do not shoot fireballs at your doctor. That is not the doctor way. I will kick you out of my outdoor doctor office immediately. Mr. Blaze. Mr. Blaze. Oh my gosh, bro. My metal scraper's gonna break. I'm gonna start hitting him with my... Gosh darn it. Nah, it's cool. It's fine. I got 41 organic matter from you, Blaze. It's fine. I'll see you guys in five to ten minutes when I go through this entire scientific process. It worked. We're now fireproof and we can shoot fireballs. Three, two, one, inject into my toe. I don't know why it makes me blind every single time. Well, let's test out if I'm fireproof. I am. Look at that. I can just stand in the flames. Well, that's pretty cool. So if I'm holding out a blaze rod, I can shoot fireballs. Hey, Rodney, how's it going? Hi, hi. Oh my gosh. What have I done? Why is he on my face. Rodney, get off my face. Get off my head. Eat fireballs, Rodney. This is what you deserve. This is so overpowered. I can spam it. And back to eating grass. Bessie, you got any more scraper tools for the toenails and kneecaps? Okay, yes, she does. The next one I want to test is an iron golem. Uh, these things technically aren't like living creatures. Also, what the flip? Why did that not work? Okay, there we go. It was just slightly glitchy. I'm just gonna take just a just a little bit, just from the nose. All right, you just stare at. Oh my gosh, that just did so much of my damage. Stop, stop. It's gonna be okay, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Okay, if I stay at a, a nice solid distance, like right here, it's fine. We're okay. No, it's not okay. We're we're literally we're getting beaten up. I'm a doctor, dude. You can't beat up doctors. Well, I'm just gonna take the organic matter that I collected, and I'm just gonna be on my way. I'll see you later. Just make sure you schedule your appointment for maybe next uh, decade. All right, cool. Back to the science lab. The iron golem gave out more hearts, but we already have more hearts, so the best thing that we could get was regeneration four. That is just not even fair. And Bessie just told me that in order to get a little bit of extra strength, I need to steal the DNA from a polar bear. It's like gonna be okay, buddy. I know this is gonna sting for just two seconds, but it's gonna be worth it so I can steal your DNA. And please don't hurt me. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. I have regen four, but it's really not helping a lot here. Let's try to eat some more grass. Stay back. Stay. Oh my gosh, I, I'm hitting with the needle. I just pricked myself with the needle. Fireball, fireball, fireball. When in doubt, fireball out. I also completely forgot to mention that I have the fly ability. I think I did mention it actually, but my brain just did not compute that I had access to it. That's fine. We're, okay, I feel kind of terrible about myself now. Let's go take out my guild on this dude. These do so much damage. What? Nah, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. I am slowly turning into a god. You should have just been a good little patient, buddy. Revenge is sweet like cookies. We'll put the polar bear DNA in. And look at that. We got the gene type of strength and also claws and step assist too. So we can walk up one blocks. Wait, the polar bear is actually kind of crazy. Let's see if this will work in three, two, one. I did it. I have strength. It looks like I can easily just go up one block areas. I can still eat grass, which is still my favorite ability by far. And we can test out my claws ability on a spooter. Hello? Oh my gosh. Why do things love jumping on my head? I don't understand. Why are you killing me? Wait a second, okay, I do four damage per punch. And I think the claws ability gives me a small chance to make mobs bleed. And by bleeding, I mean that they should just lose health over time. I don't know if it's an instant thing every single hit, but you saw that that thing had particle effects just a little bit. So look at it, yeah, it has particle effects around it, so it should take even more damage. It actually did, it bled out. Wait a second. I literally have so many different abilities now. And this is all through the power of science. Collect some spooter DNA. Wait, did you just, really? Can you just get off my head for two seconds? I don't I don't appreciate everything jumping on my head today. It's not, it's not really cool. It's not really, I will punch you. Or I will die. But it's fine. I win. I collected all your DNA. So the spider gave me a pretty unique ability. As you probably could have guessed, it allows me to now just climb up any surface. I don't know why I need that because I have the ability of a bat. So my body just floats and doesn't really have any gravity. We can also collect the DNA of a squid. Let me scrape you, squid. Let me scrape you. Ew, ew. Stop. Please go on my head. Please go on my head. Please go on my head. I will scrape you to death. This is not going to end well for you, squid. I will, I'm going to literally drag you out of the water until you drown. The squid gave me the ability to breathe underwater. Let's stick that back in my toe. Would you back up? I want to grab the DNA from a zombie. Maybe that'll turn me back to normal. And also, while we're at it, let's collect the DNA of a tiny little slime. Would you please stop jumping on my head? Don't even think about it. The zombie gave me a resistance ability, and the slime gave me something called slimy death. And the only way I think I can test it is if I die. Well, here goes nothing. And I forgot I can fly, so I take no vault damage. But we can spawn in a weird skeleton, and while it's killing me slowly, I can collect the DNA. That's right, be a good young little patient. And you can kill me now. Wait, what? Wait, I lived? Slimy death just makes me live? 
It's literally like a totem of undying? That's crazy. I would say it doesn't work like infinite amount of times. Am I just invincible now? Well, I just, okay, no. So it only works one time. The wither skeleton gave me the ability to wither mobs. So every single mob that I punch, it'll get withered. We could test that on this ocelot who I need to collect the DNA of. Stop running, stop running, stop running. So yeah, look at it. I think I clawed it and oh, well, I did not mean to do that. It, it got withered and it also got the bleeding effect. So my hands now are way more deadly than any weapon. Okay, this is actually one of those scenarios where I'm okay with the cat being on my forehead. Don't worry, little kitty. I will let you live. Run away, be free, never come back and sit on my face again. We can also collect the DNA of a dog. Just a little bit. Just, just, a, just a tad bit of DNA. It's gonna be okay, little buddy. I'm gonna go take you to a nice little spot far, far away so you don't try to bite me. There you go, buddy. You be good. The wolf and the ocelot gave me no hunger, scare creepers, scare skeletons, and speed too. That is amazing. I am definitely faster. Let's see if skeletons are scared of me. Hello? Hi? Are you, are you scared of me? <laughs> it doesn't seem that scared of me. What about creepers? Oh, wait. This creeper definitely is scared of me. What's wrong, buddy? What's going on? You don't want to get a needle? You don't want to get scraped in the toe today? That's not my problem. Wait a second. Are they just... Oh, wait. Okay, so they still explode. I need to be careful about that. So after I initiate contact, they're going to come back and try to fight. But look at it. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. And he's dead. Let's also collect some DNA of skeleton. I guess I'm just scraping bones. So the skeleton gave me an ability called infinity, which normally goes on the bow as an enchantment, but now it's just a part of my body. As you can see, I only have one arrow somewhere, but I could just infinitely shoot this bow. And the creeper's ability is literally the same as a creeper. So if I were to die with more than five gunpowder in my inventory, I should explode. All right, we're, we're, we're gonna die soon. We're gonna, we're gonna, to yep, totally we're gonna die soon. This dude, yep. Just a little bit slower. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some grass in the meantime. Rodney, why is this dude taking so long? <laughs> I think I made this worse. <laughs> he, he killed me, but I didn't explode. Well, I guess that works. We've collected pretty much every single mob DNA. And now we're gonna use them all together in order to steal the DNA from the Ender Dragon and defeat it. Then maybe I'll get turned back to normal. Here we go. We have a couple different options for taking out the Ender Crystals. We could just explode them with blaze rods. That is using the DNA of a blaze. Or I could use my infinite bow and arrow. Thanks to the skeleton DNA. Now that all the end crystals are destroyed, we can attempt to scrape the DNA off of the Ender Dragon. Uh, oh, he's going down for a landing. Or I uh, guess. Yes, she's going down. Sorry, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Sorry, 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 sorry. Doctor, doctor's in session here. Doctor needs to get in here. Quick little appointment here. Thank you very much. I'm gonna use the rest of my scraper to scrape off all the beautiful DNA. There we go. We, we got 12. That should hopefully be enough. And now we can test out about how much damage I do just from punching. Punching actually does not do a lot. Slicing with my sword, however, definitely does a lot. And we can also, I guess, try to use this. Wait, wait a second. This is way quicker. You can just spam these. There's literally no risk. I can sit back here and just click as fast as possible. Oh, the Ender Dragon did not like that. Come on! It's working! I keep forgetting, too, that we can fly. The Ender Dragon has been defeated by the DNA of every single mob in the game. I don't care about the DNA. I don't care about the egg. I need to celebrate with some grass. Yeah, I got kind of hungry in there. But now we can head back and see exactly what the Ender Dragon DNA can let us do. So we have an ability called Ender Dragon Health, the flight ability, and Dragon's Breath. Let's go! And this is it, the final syringe with every single one of the mob abilities. Let's inject and test it out. So I should be able to shoot... <laughs> Dragon's breath. That is so cool. And wait a second. I remember Rodney had something earlier. The dragon health crystal. So I think I could use this with my dragon health ability. If I have a dragon health crystal in my inventory, it will absorb all the damage that I take. I am now practically invincible. <laughs> How's it going? So what we can do is use the chest opener on Alec to see every single one of his body parts. The problem is he's going to take some damage. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. I'm going to take out his spine. Whoa, that's a good... What just happened? Wait, Adam? <laughs> do it. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? I don't think he's able to move. Wait, he's able to jump. But look, he's trying to run, but he can't. I can't move. What do you mean, dude? Wait, I have, a, I have an extra heart in my hotbar. I can only move if I run and jump. What is happening? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, wait, that's awesome. He literally is just jumping around. What? What are you talking about? I don't know. You can't I don't move? Know. You I have don't an know. extra heart? I don't know. Okay, I don't know how to help you, dude. Get a wheelchair or something. All right, while he's dealing with that, let's go check up on Adam. All right, we're going to try to get inside of Adam, and then we're also going to take his bite. Jumpy, 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 jumpy. Are you okay, dude? Ow! Ow! Wait! No! <laughs> They're both just gonna have to jump around the entire video today. Wait, did you get hit too? Dude, I got hit! Why? Can we ask, like, how this happened? Ask who? Because I don't know. I'm gonna try relogging. I'll be right back. I think the game's glitched. They both just left the game. Oh, wait, maybe they think that they're glitching out. Okay, just so they don't get too mad, I'm gonna give back their spines. The video just started, and I can't have them finding out already that I'm on their world. Wait, it worked for me. I can move. Oh, yeah, wait. Can you I'm move? okay now. I get, yeah, uh, yeah, but I got- It like, must have been a glitch. The best part about this mod is that I am able to steal parts from any mob in the game. So if I were to go ahead and use my chest opener on this creeper, we can see it is made up of leaves, sticks, gunpowder, and also a creeper appendix. The creeper appendix is what allows the creeper to actually explode. So what we could do is go put this inside of Alec and see if he accidentally explodes himself. Let's go ahead and try it out. It's inside of his body. All we have to do is wait. Wait, what the? Yo, two villagers just walked into our house and just slept on both of our beds. What the heck, dude? Show him who's boss. Should I murder them? So show him who's boss. Okay, I'm showing him who's boss. I'm gonna fart in his face. That was a stinky one. Let, let me get the other guy. Okay, got both of them. Was there any recoil on those farts? Oh, yeah, we got some recoil. Lots of recoil. Okay. I got hit. Yeah. I'm just gonna give him the beds, honestly. I might lock him in here for life. In the meantime, we could also open up a cow and then replace some of his body parts with the body parts of a cow. So we can grab a herbivore intestine, a herbivore rumen, and a herbivore stomach. I'm gonna go turn Adam into a cow. Oh, Adam, how you doing? We're gonna take out all of his intestines and then replace them with the intestines from a cow. Also his stomach too. That means he's no longer going to be able to eat meat. He could only eat grass like a cow. Let's see how long it takes him to figure that out. Ow. Ow! Did you hit me? Wait, where are you? Where are you? No, I didn't freaking hit you, bro. Those villagers had the right idea about sleeping. I was gonna mine. I need some, like, Okay, iron. I'll go mine with you. Wait, Alec and Adam are right next to each other. Alec has the creeper appendix, but I think he might need to accidentally activate it. Let's also try to open up a squid. We can get fish mussels, which have pathetic speed. They're not even gonna be able to run around on land. And I can also give them gills. That way, they're only able to breathe in the water. I'm gonna go turn my brother Adam into a squid. You wanna go swimming? I made a pool. Oh, this is like all water. Oh my gosh. This is sick. Pretty sick, I right? I'm gonna drown. Where are you going? Get back up. Oh my gosh. We're gonna die. Oh no. Adam, I might die. From what? What are you doing? I'm trying to swim, bro. And I. We're on easy mode. There's no way you should be dying right now. Hey, Adam, how's it going? We're gonna steal all your muscles. He's not gonna be able to mine. Ow! What? I just got hit for like 50% damage. Oh, yeah, that's probably a drowned. I'm not, I'm out of the water. Ah, ah, I'm getting nauseous, Are dude. Are you okay, bro? Like, stop yelling. I don't know, I don't know. When he's eating the meat, he can't digest it. His stomach isn't, isn't strong enough. He can only eat grass. Ah! Everything's twisted, man. My eyes hurt, I'm getting a headache. Ah! Bro, look at him. Look at him. He's probably getting sick. He's getting nauseous. I still have to figure out a way to get gills on him. Okay, we're gonna go back into creative mode. We're gonna open him up one more time, and then we're just gonna add the gills. And then we're gonna steal his lungs. What on earth is happening? Dude, I can't look at the screen right now. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I found iron, though. Ah! I think you, you should go back. You should go I back. We're off. Wait, I, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good now. I'll mine. I'll mine. I'll mine. I feel like you just... Oh, you're gonna steal my flipping iron. Dude, go. Okay, let me through. Oh let my gosh, bro. You're so fat. I can't move. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. All right, I'm gonna go back up. Adam now has gills. He has squid muscles, and he also has the digestive system of a cow. Alex still has not exploded yet. His body just has a creeper appendix, and he has no clue about it. Adam still has one of his human lungs, but if I take that, he'll only be able to breathe in water. Oh, uh, hey, Adam, how's it going? We're just gonna steal your lung. Ow! Ow! Dude, like, what is wrong with you, bro? I'm getting slapped. These mobs are invisible. He's not gonna be able to breathe. Look, he's gotta get to the water. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm taking damage. I understand that you're taking damage. You don't have to keep telling me. Wait, what? I take damage when I'm in the air, but when I'm in the water, I don't. <laughs> 
He has made the full transformation. He is now Adam the Squid. Wait, I regain my bubbles when I'm underwater. It's doing the opposite of what it should be doing. Dude, this game is glitched. I'm telling you, this game is glitched. I don't understand. I, I'm a flippin' fish is what I'm trying to tell you. And I have nausea again. I can't say anything. All right, guys, check this out. I have a pretty good idea. So we're gonna plop down my arch nemesis, Mama Lama Jama, and we're gonna open it up. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to use my slicer spadicer to make it a little bit weak. There you go. Okay, no, what? We, we need to beat it down. Let me operate on your body. There we go. Okay, so they have, a, I believe, a special set of lungs that, that allows them to spit. So we're gonna replace Alex lungs with llama lungs. Okay, we're gonna have to go super fast. Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. All we have to do is wait for Alec to figure out how to spit. I just took damage randomly again. Dude, I don't know. I think, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna reconnect. You're disconnecting again? I'm disconnecting. The game's glitched. I'm getting nausea for no reason. I guess Adam's really confused. Uh, he keeps leaving the game and joining. I guess he thinks that that's gonna fix the situation, but it is, it is not. Okay, also, we can operate on an Enderman. Endermen have some pretty cool abilities. All right, so along with teleportation, I believe they also have an ability to dodge arrows, and also, they are afraid of water. So if we give this to Alec, every time he steps on water, he'll be automatically teleported away. Okay, we'll get the Ender Appendix, which is arrow dodging, and then we can replace all of his muscles with Enderman muscles. Oh my gosh, I still have nausea. Adam, I haven't found any diamonds, and I've been down here for a while, so I'm gonna come back up to the mines, and, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll go back down later, but I'm kind of just getting bored. All right, I'm getting out of the water. Oh, yes! I can breathe! You can breathe! Okay, that's, Let's go! that's good. Let's go! So, I have a bunch of Enderman muscles, and I also have the Ender Appendix that I need to figure out how to get inside of Adam. Okay, he's not looking right now, so we're gonna grab him, and we're gonna put the appendix inside. Ow! I think it worked. Let's go. Okay, so now um, once it turns nighttime, I'm going to spawn in a skeleton. And when he gets shot with an arrow, he's just going to teleport away. Alec, we got to meet up again. No, I'm at the village. I also can no longer sprint if that's cool. No, you're definitely slow. That's for sure. Just going to have to live with that, I guess. And I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier in the video, I gave Alec the creeper appendix. So he's going to be able to explode. Except I'm not entirely sure when it's going to happen. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to wait for it to be nighttime so that I can spawn in a skeleton. I don't know why, but I'm like random getting full bars of health when I walk by plants and stuff. You're getting full, full bars of health? Yeah, like my food bar is getting filled up every time I walk by grass. Okay. Um, are you like, yeah, what are you talking about? I don't know. I think I'm eating grass. <laughs> no, let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Oh my. Ow! He did it. He did it. He found out that he had the creeper appendix. What was that? I don't know. I tried to eat the grass and then I exploded, dude. What do you see this? I'm like, yeah, what, what did you do? I think he could also spit since I put the, the llama lungs inside of his body. Look at that. He's just spitting everywhere. Wait, I'm going to summon a llama to spit back at him. What? How did I you explode can spit, that? dude. Why? Yo, don't spit at me, though. Oh, there's a llama there. They're having a spit off. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Okay, now's my chance. It's nighttime, so we're going to summon in some skeletons over here. <laughs> what the heck? It's a llama fight. I just, did I just TP? Oh, Adam just teleported. Yeah, Adam, come here. Be I, careful for I, I, I saw, dude. No, 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 do no, not no. spit not, on I'm me. Not, no, no, I'm not, I'm not. I just have something to tell you. Oh. <laughs> Adam? What? <laughs> Adam! What? Yo, every time oh I my... get hit, I TP. Yo, look, he's teleporting. <laughs> the llama over here, it's still trying to spin at Alec. Yo, llama mama jama, my man, you got some anger issues. Wait, what? You're literally, you're cheating. No, 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 no. Do you remember earlier when I killed that Enderman? I think I absorbed his energy. Maybe, bro, I don't know. I, oh, the llama probably gave me his energy too. I must be half llama or something, I don't know. But it was probably when we kissed and then like my, his DNA got in my DNA and now I can spit on people. Every time I spit on you, you teleport. <laughs> so I guess any projectile that tries to hit Adam, it, it can't. He just teleports away because he has the Enderman appendix. Except it's not really working super well. I see like four arrows inside of Adam's body. The llama's back. I'm he wants some so more. I'm so confused. Wait, I want the llama's ability. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me kill these stupid skeletons with my spit. I'm going to try and kill this thing. It didn't flipping work. I can't spit. spit. on me. How do you Come even on, spit? I don't like understand. Like this, like this. It's like this. <laughs> Like that. Yo! I just TP'd to the mine. Adam and Alec have no idea that by the end of today's video, I will be giving them both the parts of an ender dragon. The next mob I need to dissect is a blaze. Blazes are made up of magma blocks, blaze shells, functioning blaze rods, and a blaze core. All right, we're gonna grab that. We're also gonna grab some blaze rods. And I guess we can grab some blaze shells too. 
Oh my gosh, I have nausea again. I feel like every time you hit me, is that you? I mean, my spit is pretty powerful. I got a lot oh, of loogie in that one. I want to drop your inventory. I want to see if you have any potions in your inventory. Kidding. Yeah, yeah, Flipping I have potions nausea. in my inventory. Yeah, no, that's me. That wouldn't be you, though. I don't have potions in my stinking inventory, Adam. Then how do I keep getting nausea? I don't Explain know. Explain that to me. Explain to me how you're teleporting. Explain to me how I'm spitting on people. Yeah, how about you spit on me now, you dummy? How about you teleport away? Yeah. They are fully battling it out right now. They're like mutants from X-Men. <laughs> I don't even know what they're doing at this point, bro. They're supposed to be trying to work together. Aren't they trying to beat the game? I mean, let's be real. If I was them, I would probably try my best to uh, test out my brand new abilities too. See, I can't die. You can't even hit no, me I'm because every time it. you try, every time you try, I can just teleport you away. You dingus. Wait, there's a skelly. I can't even see, dude. My screen is so whack. Hit the skeleton! Okay, I'll kill the stupid skeleton. Get away! <laughs> get Stop! A, get, a, get away! <laughs> so annoying now. I don't want this ability. I'm um, gonna have to be pretty sneaky about this. Okay, we're gonna open up Adam, and then we're gonna get rid of that, and we're gonna give him the blaze core as a heart. That'll make it so that every time he steps in water, he'll take damage. Can you stop hitting me? I'm not. Stop saying I'm hitting you. I'm not hitting you. Alec, on the other hand, we're gonna open up. We're gonna give him a functioning blaze rod. Now he'll be able to spit out fireballs and also spit. You've been shooting me with llamas this entire oh. game. You're lucky I can eat grass. I, I knew that was you. I know. Oh, look at that. Look at that hit chain. <laughs> Wait, no. My chain. ender portal. Look at this hit chain. No, I think I think I have to spit on it. Yo, look at that. He shot out a fireball. Did you just shoot a fireball at me? Oh. Yo! Whoa! What did you kill that gave you that? I don't know, but I can spit and shoot fire. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to check out is operating on a shulker. So shulkers have a pretty cool ability where they can shoot out their shulker levitation pellets. So if I operate on it after I beat it down just a little bit, we should be able to steal the shulker spleen. And that's what allows it to shoot out the shulker bullets. We got to go to the nether. With these new abilities, I think we can beat the game. But actually, no, that's a good point. I can just spit on everything. I do need a lava pool, though. I got you. Don't even worry. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh my oh, gosh. gosh Where did I spit you to? Outside of the flipping mine. <laughs> I gotta eat more grass. Ow! Adam almost just died to a Kraber. Okay, we're gonna open up Adam, and then we're gonna give him the shulker spleen by replacing one of his ribs. Will he be able to figure out that he can now shoot shulker bullets? Dude, I'm taking random damage from- Yeah, I know. I, I don't know what's going on with that. It's it's a thing, though, apparently. I found diamonds! Let's go! All right, I'm coming. Wait a second, he just jumped in water, too. He's taking damage! Wait, I'm taking yeah, random wait, damage, too. Oh, no, he doesn't realize that he can't do that! My roommate, Alec, also takes damage in the water. I'm pretty sure it's because he has the blaze rod, and blazes are super hydroallergenic, so every time he touches the water, his body just starts to melt. Alec, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. If you give the wrong answer, I'm coming for you. Did you put a magic evil spell in the water and make me go in there? Dude, you, seriously, you need to stop blaming all your stupid deaths on me. That's not my fault. <gasps> I found diamonds. I'm Alec. Come here. I found diamonds. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead every time I listen to you. Wait, Adam just realized that he has the shulker spleen, so he can now shoot out shulker pellets. <laughs> Wait, what? Something just shot out of my head. Oh my gosh, another one. Are you spinning? Can you spin now too? Oh my gosh, I can make things float. Oh my gosh, I found like a dungeon cave. What is this? Okay, look, this is the thing I wanted to show you. Is he gonna use his brand new ability on Alec? Oh, he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. Oh, See that? Whoa, what whoa, is that? Whoa, yeah, that what exploded. is that? It's a little secret missile. Wait, what hole is that coming out of? Like of your body? I don't know, dude, I don't know. You don't know, bro? Oh, that's kind of worrying. It's Going for the zombie though, look at that. Adam, you absolute savage. He can spam it too, look at it. Look at it, they're all just coming directly out of his spleen. Oh my gosh, I can spam click it. It hit me! Oh, you floated! It you hit floated. me, Adam! <laughs> Wait, what if I spit on you and you teleport into the lava? I don't, oh my wait, God. I don't TP anymore. I don't TP Yo, anymore. I almost just pushed you in. Oh my gosh. So just to recap, Alec has the ability to spit and shoot out fireballs. Adam has the ability to shoot out shulker pellets. I feel like they're getting a little bit too powerful. One of the mobs I have not operated on yet and stolen all of their organs is the iron golem. Slicey spadicer, do your thing. I think I got him a little bit too low. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Okay, that should do the trick, right? Let's see what this thing's made of. Golem plating. 
piston muscles that have poor speed, but give them a launching ability. A golem cable, and also a golem core. They're powered by an inner furnace. Oh well, yeah, I guess we could try to put that inside of the boys. All right, we're gonna turn them both into iron golems. Nether portal time. Do we have a flint and steel, by the way? <laughs> no, actually. Oh my, wait, maybe you can fire blast it. <laughs> oh, that, that would be is good, actually, that'd be yeah, awesome. That's, that's actually a good idea. Look at Derp Boy coming in with a decent idea. Fire! Yeah! Yo! Oh my it god! Worked! Big third boy idea. Let's go, wow. let's go. That was sick. All right, let's do it. Wait a second. Okay, we got a little twist. They've decided to go to the nether. Let's follow them. Ooh, look at that magma slide. Make that magma slime float, bro. Hit him. Oh, I got him. I got him. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ah! I don't. I can't control where it goes, dude. I, I don't think I can control it yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I hit myself. I hit myself. Adam, no, ah! Adam hit himself with his own shulker pellet. I think he actually might die. Oh my gosh, wait, how did he just survive that? Oh wait, um, Alec, I accidentally hit a zombie ah, pigment. they're coming! I'm spinning, I'm spinning, look out! Spam click, dude! <laughs> Alec is spinning on everything here. Oh, that's such a smart move. It does so much damage and he just spit at Adam too. I don't think Adam has the Enderman appendix anymore because he's gotten hit by projectiles and he doesn't teleport away. So I think when you die, it might reset some of your organs. Okay, so for the next little bit, I guess I'll hold off until the boys are a little bit more safe and then we will replace their current organs with the organs of an iron golem. Actually, it looks like Alex pretty safe over here. Okay, so we're gonna replace uh, one of his intestines with a furnace, his heart with the heart of an iron golem, the spine with the golem cable spine, replace some of his muscles with piston muscles, We'll replace his ribs with golem plating. Okay, let's find this fortress out. Okay, yeah, let's find the fortress. Did you just hit me? Dude, I'm getting hit again. I did not hit you. I'm not hitting you. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Make me float. Make me float. Watch this. God right. play. Go, 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 go. <laughs> no way. Oh, no, this doesn't look good. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Oh. Oh, what a clutch play. You know, Alec actually is kind of good at Minecraft sometimes. And meanwhile, there's Adam trying to get hit with his own uh, shulker bullet so that he can fly across to Alec. Hit me! Shoot yourself, Adam. Shoot yourself. I'm trying, dude. Oh, oh they're dropping. Okay, well, I can't I help you now, bro. All right, try and find the fortress. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go. This actually makes me kind of curious. What is inside of a zombie piglin? Rotten hearts, a decayed spine, a rotten kidney, a rotten liver, rotten intestines, and decayed ribs. I don't think anybody wants that. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire. Me too. Oh my gosh, am I gonna die? I'm gonna flip and die. I'm going back. Wait a second. Hold on. We have a new contestant in the building. It's a ghast. Let's operate on this bad boy. Okay. Oh, a gas bladder. What gives them the ability to explode stuff? Is that their stomach? Oh, yeah, it is. Ah! Adam. I died. I got surrounded. Okay, well, now I'm lost, so this is not good. Adam and Alec are back together. The problem is that the zombie piglins really do not like Adam. Wait, they're still chasing you, bro. No, 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 no. no they're they not are. chasing me They're anymore. definitely not right behind you and in front no, of you. No, they're not chasing me. Run, Adam. Oh, my gosh. They're still chasing me. I thought we were Whoa. friends. Whoa. Whoa. Do you see Alec? Yo. He's sending the zombie piglins all the way up to the top of the nether. Wait, look. Watch what, 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 what? Every time I hit them, watch, watch. Oh, they're like Wait, where'd they go? Oh they're my like god! To the Yo! Wait, do that to the Enderman! <laughs> Oh my gosh! He's like a boxer, except he sends everything up a million blocks. Trent! Ah! Ah! I dropped my sword. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I dropped my sword. Ah! I'm just running for my life. Ah! Where you at? Ah! I'm not Are you safe. okay? No! Ah! All right, so both of them just died in the nether, even though they had some insane upgrades from mobs. Wait, I feel like fast again. Can I? Oh, I can't. Ooh. I can't spit you anymore. Can't spit? No. Wait. Okay, let me. No, I can use my ability. Oh, yeah, I can't fling you in the air. Oh, no, it must have got Dang, reset when we died, bro. Guys, I have one more idea in mind, uh, and it has to deal with my good old friend, uh, Mrs. Ender Dragon. So I'm pretty sure if I blow up all of the end crystals... Okay, now that they're all gone, if I get the Ender Dragon down to half health, I should be able to operate and steal its body parts. We're just gonna have to spit at the Ender Dragon a little bit. Just a couple more spits. There we go, let's try it out. Okay, so we have mana reactors. That should allow them to heal if I spawn in end crystals. There's also dragon muscles, dragon ribs, the dragon appendix that allows them to shoot out the dragon bombs, dragon spleen, the kidney, the spine, which is super powerful, the heart, that'll give them supernatural health, and then the lungs, which will allow them to use dragon breath. 
Let's go test this out. This dude doesn't want to trade with me? Okay, he's mad that we locked him in there for life. No, I, he he's mad because he has a big forehead and look, a bald look, head. Look, yeah, I'd be he hears me too. talking. He's like, meh, 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 meh. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Oh, wait, here's another iron golem. I'll kill it. Die. Just iron go oh, God. Oh, try and get the ability back. Oh, God, he's going to kill me. You guys are free if you trade with me. Wait, Adam, I, I killed the iron golem, and I got something called golem plating. Iron repair, exceptional defense, reduces metabolism, safe to use. Okay, so we're going to go right above Alec, open him up, and then just start replacing body parts. Oh my gosh, I just got hit again, bro. New mission. We get iron armor, we get iron weapons, and we go back to the nether. I actually do have some iron that I mined, so I'm actually just going to use it on me. We're going to start with the dragon heart, replace all of the muscles, get rid of those nasty ribs, and replace them with super new improved dragon ribs. I don't think he needs any lungs right now. We're going to have dragon lungs. Dragon kidneys should be quite the upgrade. A dragon spine, a dragon spleen, and a dragon appendix. Let's see if it worked. Whoa, it did! <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I, hit, I, I did the thing where I tried to spit, and now there's purple particles. Wait, come back up, come back up. What are you talking about? What are you even saying? Adam? Purple particles. Adam, come here right now. You're so dumb. Come here! I'm coming! Do you see this? What? Ow! Ow, that oh, does damage! It hurts? What is that? Adam's not able to get by the dragon breath. He's just trapped down in their mind. Is that you? I may have made a stinky. Where did this come out <laughs> of, dude? Where is this bar? I don't know, bro. <laughs> ah! You're gonna oh kill me! My, oh! He just killed Adam. That's awesome. The only thing Alec can't do that an ender dragon can is fly. I think I have the enderman superpowers. This is not the enderman. Yes, it this is. is like the ender dragon type power. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, ender dragon. Okay, I was able to get inside of Adam. We're gonna replace all of his intestines with mana crystals. And then if I summon in an end crystal, that should start to heal Adam. I think it's working. Look, look, look. Adam's starting to get healed. Yo! Alec, did you spawn that in? No! Dude, that's you. There's a second one, a third. What is happening? I think the ender dragon's about to spawn. What did you do? I don't know. What did you do? It's not me. You're the one spitting out dragon flames. I know. I don't know what to tell you, Adam, but I have intestines in my hand. Hey, Adam. Oh my gosh, it's Jack. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. How you doing? I'm going to yoink that spine. How are you floating? It, it was Jack. Wait, what? It was Jack. It happened. Like I'm Jack. not able to get inside of your chest. Go away. Oh, you have a chest plate on. I'm not able to operate oh, on you. Oh my take gosh. it off, boy. Take it off. No. No. <laughs> Of course it was Jack. I have no. superpowers. You will die. No I way. was the one you that gave die. me the superpowers. Oh my god. Oh, but you've been messing with us this whole time. That's what I've been oh, telling you, Alex. Like we can spit. We can spit. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Are you kidding me? Wait, so do I have like an ender dragon inside of me right now? Yeah, I opened you up oh and I put an ender god. dragon completely inside of your chest. I'm gonna get you, Ben. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go, go, boys. Later, losers. See you, nerds. I'm taking all your body parts. All right, boys. So in this book, we have a list of seven different mob parts that we have to steal. We can do it in any order that we want. We got to get a llama, creeper, spider, iron golem, enderman, blaze, dragon. It actually works super simply. All I have to do is use the chest opener. I can actually open Alex's body. Oh, I got him. He's stealing something. What did he steal? He can't move. He just stole like my spine or something. Dude. Dude, not cool. Ow! Alec already died. That dude is trash. He just got yeeted by the iron golem. He took my spine! I'm running without a spine. Wait, is it iron golem on the list? Okay, we need an iron golem's piston muscles. Ooh, yes, we can do that. This is actually one of the mobs that I have to steal parts from. The problem is that the only way to open its chest is if you get it weak. Ow! What am I even dying from at this point? We're smacking him! Ah! I'm dead, I'm dead. Adam keeps dying to the iron golem, bro. We're gonna deal with that iron golem later. Let's let's find a flipping lava. Okay, we're gonna build up a couple blocks. I need to break his face so I can open his chest. Still too healthy. Okay, my first objective is to kill one of these stupid iron golems for a couple reasons. One, he's killed me a couple times, but two, he's gonna give me some amazing abilities. They can steal all the iron golem parts that they want. I am not being involved with that. That has to be enough, right? Yes, we got it! We got the golem cable, the golem core, and most importantly, the piston muscles. We can replace my spine with the golem cable. It'll make me slower, but I'll get much stronger. We can also add in the piston muscles. Die, you stupid iron golem! Oh, wait, here it is. I thought I have to go inside 
item to get it, but apparently it's just right here. We can also add in an extra body part. So we'll put the golem core in my body, which gives me knockback resistance. Oh my gosh, I am so slow, but at least I can jump around. Let's try it out on a villager. Yo! Look at that! Oh my gosh! We can check off the iron golem off of the list. I'm thinking of a big brain play right now. I see some horses up here. I'm gonna try and steal some of their insides so that I can maybe gain their speed. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna take his swift muscles so that we can get really fast speeds here. Take out our muscles and replace them with the horses' muscles. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm actually like kind of fast? That was a god play. Let's go. Hey, Alec, how's it going? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Jack, did you steal my appendix? I stole your spine. Well, now now it's decayed, and I'm also missing an appendix somehow. Hmm, interesting. Please give it back. I feel bad. Yay, thank you. I have my spine back. Okay, bye. I see a creeper! Oh my gosh, I see an enderman too. We can get the ender appendix, and then we can get the creeper's appendix. Here we go. Ah! I think I should go for the llama or the creeper next. I started looking for a llama, but guys, check it out. There is an enderman right over there, and I accidentally looked at it. Oh, gosh. But I need to build up. Jack is trying to take this, this enderman, but I'm going to try to steal it from him. Wait, no, he's going to steal it from me. Ah, he's attacking me now. All right, I killed him. Nice. No, he killed it. Why? Okay, so if I replace my muscle with this muscle. Ho, ho. Look. I punch this horse and he goes flying like I'm an iron golem. I am a little bit slower than normal, but honestly, it's worth it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I found the cave. There's the enderman. I don't have any health, man. Why am I doing this? Oh, he wants me. I need to damage him so he's not so heavy. He TP'd. He TP'd. Where is he? No. Back to square one. We have absolutely nothing. Oh, look at that. A bumblebee. I wonder if I'm able to open up a bumblebee. Yeah, I can. Wait, do these have venom glands? They do. Let's go. The venom gland. I could get it from a spider, a cave spider, or apparently a bee. Let's open my chest and let's try to put the venom gland in my body. We'll replace my appendix because I don't think you need the appendix. Now we have two out of the seven mob parts. And I see my next victim. Look at it. Look at this beautiful creeper. Oh, yes. There's a creeper right there. Oh, my gosh. Wait, there's a lot of creepers. Come on, come on. Can I operate yet? Yes. Yes, steal everything. Yes, let's go. We finally got one. Gotta take out my appendix. Put in the creeper appendix. Okay, now I can explode, apparently. I need to steal the appendix of the creeper before it decides it wants to blow me into outer space. All right, so we're gonna have to weaken it slightly. Do, do not explode. He exploded. There it is, my next creeper. Come here, buddy. Look at it. Look at me. Yes, we actually did it. But I need to... No! I forgot how powerful I am. This might be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Guys, I just got really lucky. There's a flippin' enderman right there. I'm taking a spine. This dude can no longer move. Ah, ah, loser! I'm putting the ender appendix in there. Now I can dodge arrows, and I have really good luck. Kind of want to try it out real quick. Oh, you saw that? So we got the creeper appendix and we've got the enderman appendix. Guys, I think it'll be a good idea to get rid of some of my piston muscles because... Yeah, that might eventually become an issue. There are two creepers right here. We're gonna send that one up a little bit. Don't! Why would you do that? I was able to lower a creeper into the water. No, don't don't explode, creeper. We're gonna have to go so fast. Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. I'm gonna have to get below it. Come on, steal the appendix. We got it. Nobody messes with Beck Bro Surgeon. Now all I have to do is open up my body and uh, find a good spot for the creeper appendix. I guess I don't need my kidney. The next mob that I need to find is a llama. Okay, okay, okay. And now we finally have found a spider. Come here, spider. I'm just gonna take everything. Die, you stupid spider. You will have no more organs. Ah! He doesn't have a venom gland, bro. What the heck? Okay, I don't really know what happened with the spider the whole venom gland thing, but I need to get a creeper appendix. Let's see if I can do that. Hello, my friend. Don't kill me. Oh, I got his appendix. Let's go. So now if I go into myself, I should be able to put that here. And now if I... Oh! Wait, do you guys see that? Do you guys know what that is? Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I'm like 90% sure that's a flipping llama. It's a llama. We need the llama's lung. Oh, it's spinning at me. It's flipping spinning. See if I can open it up. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take both lungs and give it this crap. Take out our lungs, and then we're going to put in the llama lungs. Three, two, one. Oh, I just spit at it. Okay, well, luckily, we did find a enderman as well now. So if I just stand under this tree, he's too healthy. Hello, buddy. Aha, uh -huh. are you hurt enough now? Yes, okay, so now we need to take his appendix. There we go, give me that. Took a while, guys, but look. We have a family of llama. Llamas, baby, we got llamas. Hopefully, that doesn't kill the llama. It, it, it killed me. It spit on me and killed me. This time, we're gonna play it safe. Moment of truth. 
Dude, why is the llama spit so powerful? I have an idea of how to get the llama lung without dying. We're gonna need to trap the llama in a hole. All right, now we're gonna cover him up just a little bit. Oh! Ah! Let's try it. Yes, we got it, the llama lung. We got it, the forceful spit ability. We're gonna replace my lung with the llama lung. We can check that one off the list. Hello, little puppy. Do you need a friend? Would you like to be my friend? Oh, he would. Okay, cool. I will name you Alfonso. So right now I have the muscles of an iron golem, the lung of a llama. I used to have the appendix of the creeper and the venom gland from a bee. That means we still need to find an enderman, a blaze, and the ender dragon. And I know that we can find both in the nether. So I think that's my next spot. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, wait, there's a bunch of them, dude. What the heck? Alfonso, you're gonna have to sit for this one, buddy, because I don't want you killing these guys. There you go. All right, let's do a little bit of that action. Okay, we need like his lungs, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That, that was painful to watch. I do apologize. Replace our lungs with the llama lungs. We can spit now. But anyway, I think it is time for me to go to the nether so that I can get a blaze rod. Yes, a spider. I'm going for it. Where's the clan? Where's the clan? Silk clans. I think that's it. I need the venom clan. Why is it only a silk clan? I need a venom clan. Okay, let's finally make the nether portal. Do you guys want to see how fast I can build a nether portal? Boom. We'll put the iron and the flint together to make a flaunt and stell. Bop. And into the nether we go. Ooh, it's nice in here. Wait, is that? Is that a? Wait, what? What is a cave spider doing all the way out here? <laughs> venom. I don't know what I did. I'm stealing things. I was stealing my things, bro. Oh my gosh. I think Alfonso's going to. Are you kidding me? I guess my next objective is to go to the nether so we can get blaze rods. Okay, let's find this flipping cave spider. Ah! Oh my gosh, I just fell into a flipping huge cave. It TP'd me all the way to the top? Are you kidding me? I'm going back down. Hey, let's go. We found the fortress. Hey, yo, how's it going? I'm going to go steal all of his body parts. Okay, there's a blaze right up here. I'm going to just make a little tiny shield for myself. Oh, gosh, I didn't work. Okay, I'm going to open his chest. We need to steal the functioning blaze rod. And we'll also get the blaze core because why the heck not? We stole its heart, so it died. I should be able to open my chest and add in the functioning blaze rod. Bye, muscles. But we did just gain fireballs. Oh. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at this. We can spam it. Wait, do you guys hear that? I think there's a gas nearby. That's not one of the mobs that I have to steal parts from, but I'm pretty sure if I could steal its stomach, I will be able to shoot out fireballs. Guys, the gas is right there. I'm going for it. Come on. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take its heart out and then we're also going to grab its stomach. Okay, let's see what happens if I replace, I guess, one of my intestines with the volatile stomach. Yo, we shoot out spit fireballs and also an explosive fireball. Now we only need the ender appendix from the enderman and then the dragon lung from the ender dragon okay perfect we found a lava pool so all i have to do now is build a nether portal and we should be able to get to the nether relatively quickly all right boys and it seems like we are just about ready to go to the nether all right let's light this bad boy up in three two one boom all right let's go get some blazes we made it back into the cave i just plugged it up i i hear something what the heck oh it's a puppy it's coming in. This is my only chance. Yes, I got the venom gland. Let's go. All right, let's go back up to the top and find a village. Oh, spooky Enderman. Where could you be? Oh, I hear one. I can sniff it. Oh, it's it's literally right there. Here goes nothing. Ooh, it's still too healthy. Is it going to be enough? Yes, we did it. Let's grab the Enderman appendix. And we should probably also steal its muscles. We could also maybe replace my spine. Okay, let's try to replace the golem cable with the ender spine. And we can replace some of my muscles with the ender appendix. Well, We'll replace my muscles over here with the ender muscles. And guys, that means we only have to get the dragon lung from the ender dragon. Ah, there we go. We found another fortress. Now, all we have to do is find a blaze, hurt the blaze, go inside his body, and steal his blaze rod. Okay, I see one. I hear one. Here it is. Yenis McGinnis. Let's hurt it. We want to get inside of it. Hello? I'm just going to take everything from inside of you, buddy. All right, let's get the heck out of here before we die. Oh, and just like that, we are out of that stupid nether. I hate that place. It's so scary every single time. But anyway, let's try to add some of these functioning blaze rods to our body. Whoa! 
I'm all the mobs put into one. All right, well, I guess the last thing for me to do now is to go to the end and slay the ender dragon. It took a while, but eventually I tracked down the end portal. Okay, guys, I believe it's somewhere right over here. Let's dig down to the stronghold. Diggy, dig, dig, I said I'm digging, 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 digging a hole. I'm digging straight down into the end portal. I'm digging, 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 I'm digging a hole. I'm a digging, 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 digging down. Oh, gosh. I found the stronghold. Guys, we've been looking forever, and I finally found it. A fresh village. I'm pretty sure I saw an iron golem. I can't lose this village, man. I've been looking for too long. Guys, I need a bed. Okay, thank you. Wait, what's going on outside? No, wait, they're all taking... No, no, no. No, they're gonna kill the iron golem. Oh, my gosh. I need the muscles. I'm taking the muscles. Ah! Guys, I died, but I just equipped it. The piston muscles. Hey, let's go. We found the portal. Bippity boppity bippity. We've done it. I think we're the first one here. No way. They're going to the end already? I still needed the blaze rod. I just saw Jack at the achievement I spy. I'm pretty sure that means that he is already here, but I think I'm close. Okay, I'm just gonna dig straight down. I really don't have any time to waste here. If I fall in love, that's G. GG's, but I cannot let Jack defeat the Ender Dragon before I even get to the end portal. What? is this spawn? Are you kidding me? Do I even have enough blocks to get over there? Hopefully I do. This is going to take forever. I run out of blocks. Okay, uh, I have an, uh, an Ender Pearl. Hopefully this works. Yes, we made it. Come on, come on. I've been digging. Oh, there we go. There we go. I found it. Okay, I'm in the stronghold. I just got to find the portal now, and then I can catch up to Jack that way. Come on, come on. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here it is. Here it is. Let's go. Wait, this isn't even the same stronghold that Jack found. What the heck? All right, let's do it. No, Alex made it to the end, too. No, Alex made it here. I think I see the nether portal right over there. I can still win. There's still a hope for me. It's not built. I thought someone would for sure use this. Oh. Uh... I have zero chance. That's GG's for me, boys. It's time for me to log out. All I have to do is get the Ender Dragon down to 75% health. I'm not going to be able to do that, though, with all of the End Crystals. So we're going to have to use our fireballs to blow them up. I got one. Number two. Got number three. Number four. Hey. Okay, he already built me a path. That is awesome. He must have had extra Ender Pearls to get to the other side. So I'm going to have to build all the way over now. We have made it to the main island. Oh, Mr. Jack. Here I come. No, gosh, no. Oh, I see him. He's over there. He's over there. Wait, why, why are you attacking me? I didn't even do anything. I'm dead. Wait, Alec just died. No way. Now's was my chance. I died. That sucks. So it seems like Jack is, is assuming he doesn't die, probably going to defeat the Ender Dragon again. But until then, I will continue my journey back to the stronghold. That's the last of the end crystals. It's just me and the Ender Dragon. Come on. Hey, let's go. This is so good. It says the target is still too healthy. That's not possible. No way. This has to be it. Yes, we got it. We're going to take out the heart and we're going to grab the lung and also all of its muscles. And now the last thing to do is put it all into my body. Let's test it out. Oh my goodness, look, we can shoot dragon fireballs. And the best part is, I didn't even have to kill the ender dragon. What's up, boys? Oh, hi. Hello, Jack. Boom! Oh no, I'm guessing he won. Oh my god. Boom! No. I have every single one. No, 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 no. What's, What's happening? I am just holding a horse's tail in my hand. It's just a casual Friday. All right, so if I right-click with this, we add it to our body. Check it out, Mom. I got a tail. Oh, my gosh, bro. And I get upgrades. I can run super fast. Well, I wonder what else I could use the scissors on. What's up, cat? Can I use it on you? Oh, my gosh. What? I cut the ocelot's tail. Now, if I right-click with this, we got a cat tail. I have way too much power. And uh, a lack of medical degrees. Would I be able to perform surgery on, let's say, a dolphin? It's too fast. I can't nail it. I need something a little bit slower. Ooh, look at that. There's a glow squid. Snip, snip. Guys, before we get into that, I need to let you know about today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is a free-to-play multiplayer game where you can battle other players using different units like tanks, attack helicopters, fighter jets, and even battleships. It's available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac, so you can practically play anywhere. There was just a massive update called the Drone Age. It added in an iconic Soviet aircraft, the Su-25 Frogfoot, which is my new personal favorite. Dozens 
of new air, naval, and ground vehicles were added, and both reconnaissance and strike drones are now available to all players. Everything in this game looks absolutely sick. The vehicles, the maps, and even the dirt looks real. The latest update made it look even better. Parts now fly off of a tank when it explodes, and if ammunition detonates, only a turret and a crater are left behind. Naval ships are now torn to pieces whenever destroyed, and enemy aircraft fuel tanks can now be blown up midair. Each vehicle in War Thunder is unique and customizable, so I highly recommend you test them all out. So make sure you guys download War Thunder after today's video. All new players that haven't entered War Thunder in the previous six months will receive half a million silver lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles as a gift forever, XP boosters, a week of a premium account, and other bonuses too. So make sure you guys hurry after today's video and give War Thunder a try. Thanks again to their team for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. Snip, snip. Oh, we got it! What? We got this, the glow squid's tentacles. That is disgusting. <laughs> All right, and now let's add the squid tentacles to my body in three, two, one. <laughs> what the heck is this? It looks like I'm wearing a dress. All right, what can I do with these? Wait, guys, okay, so when I shift click, it looks like it's detecting some blocks down there. What could it be? Dig. Oh, wait, did it just detect the iron ore? Well, let's try it again. Dude, there's, wait, there's gotta be more iron right there. It could detect any metal ore. That is actually gonna be super useful. There's more iron right down there. I feel like I'm cheating. Thank you for the iron. Oh, well, uh, this is awkward. Nothing to see here, big guy. While our iron is smelting up, we're gonna go ahead and take off our squid tentacles and put back on our ocelot's tail, which makes it so much faster. Even though we're fast, I'm thinking we can probably figure out a way to fly. We need to find a bee or maybe a bat. The iron is done. We can upgrade our swords and also make an iron pickaxe. Let's head down into the mines to see if I can find a bat. Guys, check it out. There's bats everywhere. All right, all right. We gotta figure out how to nail one. This is gonna be like swatting a fly with your fist. Oh. Come on, all right, here we go. We have to uh, somehow summon my inner Miyagi. Three, two, one, bop. Oh, we actually did it. You cut the bat's wings. How is it flying? How is that physically possible? I feel like Einstein is being insulted right now. I don't care, guys. On the ground, we have our bat wings. Right, click them on, and wow, that is amazing. All right, so, whoa, we can levitate up. Oh, that is amazing. And then, can I just fly? Woohoo! Look at me go! All right, so it looks like they're pretty similar to Elytra. Wait, did I see diamonds? Oh, I see a diamond. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm gonna grab some of that. I didn't even need to use my glow squid tentacle ability. And since I'm a bat, we could fly directly out of here. You know, they say don't dig straight down, but they never say don't dig straight up. And it's daytime. I'm thinking we can go up super high and then figure out where our next mob is. Oh, wait a second. I feel like I see one right down there. Hello. You guys want to get snip snip? What the? No, they just die. What about you? Oh, whoa, whoa, dude. We just cut off the llama's head. That might be the most cursed thing I've seen all day. Do I even want to put this thing on? I am literally holding my own head in my own hands. Three, two, one. <laughs> What? Wait, does it work? Can I? I can shoot spit from the top of my long necked head. Oh, this thing is gross, dude. Get away from me, pig. You want to get in a spinning match with me? That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'll be. This thing is powerful. And with that llama, that means we have five out of the 15 different mob parts. Let's swap over to my bat wings. And we're going to go get revenge on one of the mobs that I wasn't able to get earlier. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. How are you guys doing today? Oh, uh, come on. Yes, we got it. We cut off the dolphin's fin. I am a terrible human being. Where's the fin? Where? Okay, it's definitely gone. I don't see the fin anymore. The dolphin is playing with his own fin. He was literally picking it up and bringing it around. That is awful. He had no idea what he was doing. But now I have the dolphin fin. And we're going to be adding it to my body. <laughs> that looks so dumb. I feel like Shark Boy. I kind of just have like permanent dolphin's grace. And I can also breathe underwater. There's one more sea creature that I can steal the mob parts of. And that is a sea turtle. Come here, turtle. Snip. Oh, no way, bro. Okay, that is probably the worst one yet. <laughs> We stole it. We stole the shell. <laughs> we stole the shell, the turtle. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you be. Okay, I no longer have the dolphin fit on. Let's see what happens when I put on the turtle shell. <laughs> it's a hat. Turns out we get water breathing and resistance seven. Wait, right, that's actually like super overpowered. My fellow brothers, go ahead, try to tickle me. It does nothing. <laughs> oh, dude, the resistance seven is just. Mm. Thank you for the tickles. 
I will be on my way now. I see my next target. We'll put on my turtle hat just for safety. Excuse me, do you want to get scissored too? Fine. Wait, how are you still moving? Wait, I, I just turned you into a snail. I just picked up spider legs. Uh, all right, you're gonna die because you are an abomination. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna take off my turtle shell and plop on my spider legs. <laughs> I look so stupid. Can I like climb stuff? Oh my gosh, I can. I can literally just climb up walls. My spider legs are spiderful. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, what did I do? What did I do? I shift clicked and a bunch of spiders spawned and I got scared. Can I do that again? Ah! Oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I need my spider head back on. And now, would you like to get surgery? Oh god, how are you about to explode without your own head? Don't mind if I do. So we're gonna take off our turtle shell head. And now I can plippity ploppity our creeper head on. I am adorable. Hello? Oh! Okay! Okay! We have explosive diarrhea! Remember when you guys tried to kill me earlier? Well, take that, kid! I want to go cut the udders off of a cow. Hello, fake Bessie. I am not here for milk today. I am here to perform surgery. I cut the cow's udder! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Why does it look like the top of a bad pig haircut? But we're gonna add the udders to my... We're gonna add the udders... <laughs> to, to my belly. Oh! We can shoot out poisonous milk. It literally says shoot poison milk. It's probably because I'm a zombie. There's only five more mob parts left to find. The next one should probably be somewhere over here. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Oh, there they are. Hey, hi, how are you? Welcome to Beck Bro Jack's doctor office. Uh, can I interest in you in uh... We now have goat horns. That is the weirdest looking dog I've ever seen. What can we do with goat horns? Oh, uh, I literally, I don't even look like a goat. I look like Satan. Oh, check it out. Wait a second. We could like charge up a jump. That's actually pretty darn cool. All right. So now we have the goat's jumping ability. I don't know why I didn't steal its legs. I think I also have goat strength. For one of the mobs later, we're gonna need to grab ourselves a pumpkin. Thank you, pumpkin. We also have to find some place where there's snow. Well, I'll be. That was pretty easy. We can make ourselves a shovel, grab a bunch of snow, make some snow blocks, place down the snow blocks, make some shears, shear our pumpkin, and plop that on top. Welcome to the world, Margaret. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought the entire head might come off. And now we can plop on the snowman's head. I can't see a thing. I now have infinite snowballs. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. Hey, puppies. I'm so sorry I gotta do this. This is gonna be hard. Thank you. <laughs> I, I cut off its nose. Get away from me. I'm distraught. That is so sad. I turned him into a pig. <laughs> Get away from me. The wolf's ability is pretty cool. I also look so silly. If I shift click, it actually will highlight all hostile mobs within a 40 block radius. I mean, I can see you, but look at that. I can't see that creeper. He could have snuck up on me, but I use my, my wolf nose. I could use this ability to find the next mob that I want to steal parts from. That's it, guys. All right, we can steal the parts of an enderman. Boom. Uh, okay, we did it. We did it. Uh, infinite ender pearl ability. Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna die. Ah, get to the water. Can't get me now, scrub. Let's plop on the Enderman head. <laughs> he literally doesn't have a head. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, we can use our infinite Ender Pearl to, <laughs> to literally just teleport out of here. There's only one more mob left to find. And in order to get to it, I have to go into the nether. Hello. Not you. Yes, there's one right there, right at the start. Stop shooting me for just two seconds. I just want to cut your body apart. Come on. Yes, we did it. We cut the gas head? <laughs> what? Dude, it's just a bunch of tentacles. There it is, right next to the fire. No, 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 no. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yo, it's so tiny. Can I shoot fireballs? Wait, there's another one. <laughs> yes, dude, we can spam fireballs. <laughs> we did it. I'm gonna go think about my actions today. 